Hello, 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 and welcome to Nana's Crochet Ideas. I am your host, Terry. Today is December the 30th. Tomorrow, we will end this year and begin a better one. Okay, so I don't have a long video for you today. I, um... We'll start with my grateful challenge. Today, I am grateful for the doctors that I've had come into my life um, throughout the last 20 years when there was a medical emergency and I needed help. I've had some exceptional, really quite exceptional, very caring uh, doctors who'd go above and beyond the call of duty, duty to try to help me figure out what was going on with my health. And that is so important. And where I live, I live in the country and in a small, poor community. And we do not have good doctors here. Um, which is why I had a medical emergency. But I got chipped out and was very fortunate to get some really excellent, excellent doctors. So that's what I'm grateful for today. I want to show you the um, elf that I finished for Georgie, my youngest grandson. Now, I finished this last night um, just after midnight so he has not, and it's only just four o'clock this morning. He has not seen it. Um, if I remember today, I will try to get a little short clip of him getting it so we can all see how much he likes it. Hopefully he likes it. So here it is. Um, his name has been a couple of different names. The lighting I know is kind of messed up. That's because it's four o'clock in the morning and everybody's sleeping. So I don't have really good lighting today. I don't have any sunlight or anything coming in. I just have the light here. So I apologize for that. Ugh. And I don't have my mic on, so hopefully you can hear me today. So, um, we've asked my grandson several times what his name would be. The first day or so, the name was going to be Taco. And then after that, he just kind of started saying people's names that, um, you know, were in the family. Like, he wanted it to be named Nevea because that's his new sister. Or he wanted it to be named Eric or Christian, the ones who already got theirs. Or he wanted it to be named the same as theirs, which was Jose and Emmanuel. So I've decided that I'm not going to name his. I'm going to let him, you know, change the name as he sees fit. So this is what we've got. I think he turned out pretty cute. He does have the safety eyes there. Yeah. So he should be able to sit down. He might be need a little back support, but otherwise he should be able to sit down pretty well. I like his ears. Man, this camera is doing funny things. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about the, um, the lighting, but it's the best I could do to make sure this video gets out today. But that is his elf. Um, he has been checking on me several times a day to see how I'm progressing with it. So I'm sure he'll be delighted to get it today. So I don't have a lot to talk about. I slept a lot yesterday and when I wasn't sleeping, I was babysitting the two young ones. So, I was up late trying to finish my project and then up really early to get this video done and upload it and out. So,
So, um, although there is something that I found kind of interesting. If you've been on YouTube any length of time, you hear a lot of podcasters say, oh, I love you, I love everyone, thank you, you know, whatever. I kind of don't give that word out very easily. I mean, I do, but not real easily. And um, it's been amazing to me the last, I mean, I've really noticed it the last probably couple of weeks or so. Maybe people are getting to know me better and I'm getting to know them better and that's why I'm not sure, but there seems to be a, um, there are several people who I communicate with who I feel like I have a real personal, um, deep connection with that will probably never end and it's kind of interesting to me that we don't really get to see each other we never meet and yet there's some people that I've had a pretty in-depth personal conversations with where we've shared our lives and uh I feel really close to and I don't know maybe that shouldn't amaze me maybe it's the time we're in right now I don't know um, I did study initially I worked for the phone company once I went to school I went to school to be a, a counselor I primarily wanted to work with children because when my child needed someone there was no one here to help them so that was my goal to work with kids but I also worked with um, during the training I worked with drug and alcohol people adults and high school I worked with kids from kindergarten to 12th grade and I loved my work I did um, And I forgot where I was going with that. It's too early in the morning. But it just amazes me at how personal and sincere we can be in messages without really ever getting to meet the other person, each other. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Am I weird or I don't know am I not thinking because it's too early in the morning it just has kind of touched me the last week or so um, with some of the comments messages that I've gotten so what do you guys think Leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave what you're grateful for today. We only have one more day to do it. Live. You certainly can start your own grateful journal and uh, or gratitude journal, however you want to call it, and write in it every day what you're grateful for. But um, the way that we're doing it now, probably tomorrow will be the last day. I would imagine there will be days that I'll, I will talk about it, but it won't be a regular um, part of my podcast. So, um, if you're not as currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Give me a like if you enjoy the video. If you like this kind of content, um, have a wonderful day. God bless you. And I will see you again tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. So, and the last day of 2020. I'm very excited to be moving on 
to 2021. Okay, everybody. Until tomorrow. Bye now.